Alright guys, so we're about to head to a Flex Gym today, but before that, we're gonna make my intro work out. Um, I'll start sipping on it maybe 10 minutes before heading to the gym. So we're gonna start with this Gatorade right here. It's about 40 grams of carbs. And um, you can do Gatorade, that's a cheap version. Most studies, they use Gatorade for their uh, intro workout studies or whatever. But um, the best is probably HBCD or Cluster Dextra. Um, next, we're gonna add my personal favorite, this Atabolic right here. Now this shit is like really legit. It's like a mixture of a pre um, intro workout and uh, it's creatine as well. So that's about 12 grams of carbs per scoop. Um, L-citrulline, Hydromax, Glycomax, and um, all your essential amino acids as well. So it's a really, really good mix. So if you wanna save some money and get all three just in one scoop, this right here is the best. And it's uh, Candy Bliss, so really cool flavor. And just for a little bit more pump, cause uh, I don't want the extra cars from two scoops. I'm doing pumped uh, as fuck. So one scoop of that, should be good. And we are good to go. That's my initial workout right there. So essential amino acids, 50 grams of carbs, um, l citrulline Glycomax, Hydromax, Creatine, and all in one nice little shaker bottle here. Cool. Hey guys, we're here at the Flex Gym. About to get some chest and shoulders, shoulders and chest. The gym looks pretty nice. Um, I drove past it on my way here yesterday. I got like a glimpse, but I mean, it seems like they got some good plate loaded stuff. But we will see in a second. All right, so uh, we made it into the gym. I'm gonna weigh myself because there's no scale at the Airbnb. So let's see. Should be around like 180 something. 183, so I've lost maybe like three pounds since I've been here. Good, 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 good. So things are going pretty much on track. Doing almost no cardio, so it's really nice. Do like 15 minutes, three or four times a week. So uh yeah i want to get this chest day started here thing is when you're warming up you don't want to do too many reps you're not trying to get a pump when you warm up you're just trying to make sure the weight feels good save the pump for the actual working sets that's how you, that's when you're growing that's when you're trying to you know build your muscle that's where you're breaking them down so save it for there maybe no more than eight reps for your, your warm-ups and um, another thing is when you're doing this you'll watch my watch my form pay, pay attention to it I'm not letting it, I'm not bringing my arms all the way like in here stopping it right about here um, because that's where the tension stops anything lower than that is just right gravity you're not getting anything out of that out of here pretty much the uh the tension stops right about here with the movement um on top of that i'm not balancing so everything is going directly onto my shoulders a lot of times people miss out on uh, key parts of the movement because they're not initiating with the shoulder they're initiating by bouncing or Twerking or whatever you want to call it. So uh, yeah, yeah. Twerking, babe. So twerking, yeah, twerking. <laughs> I almost see no twerking when you're doing shoulder workouts. So um, yeah, yeah. So pay attention and watch me go through this. I'm gonna do our next set's gonna be probably one more warm up, then we'll get to our workout set.
Just got back home from the gym and now we're fixing my uh, post workout meal. We got uh, some pretty legit cereal from Canada. Like, I've never seen something like this in Canada. It's usually just like shredded wheat and stuff, you know, your grandmother would eat. But, you know, they, they did it big today. I'm, they, I've never even seen this in the States. This is pretty legit. They got. Uh, let me flip it. Make this. Oh, there we go. Wild berry. I've never seen this brand. So, um, normally I do four. So, like the cool thing with cool thing with uh, the difference between working with Matt and John is Matt was very, very, very strict on exactly what he said to eat and when to eat it and everything. John is a little bit more fluid in that sense. Um, so, what I've been doing is uh, on my plan it says four cups of. Four cups of cereal, but I was about to die. I felt like uh, my sugar was really, really low. So I um, had an apple, which is about 25 grams of carbs. So instead of doing four cups of cereal, I'm doing three cups to even it out. Right here. Right, normally I weigh it out by the gram, but I don't have a scale right now, so. So a little bit more, it'll be three grams. Should be good. All right, that's a little bit more than three cups. <laughs> You're gonna get it right. I'll say that for later. <laughs> all right, that look good. Yeah, all right, all right, cool, cool, cool. All right, um, what's good there? I had a couple guys ask me. Some questions about what I thought about the winners and placings at the Olympia. 
And so I was like, yo, let me just talk about that now. Um, we'll start with the open, I guess. Uh, honestly, I had Brandon or even Hattie uh, first place. So not upset that Brandon won, but wouldn't have been upset if Hattie would have took it to the separation, um, muscle maturity, de like detail on him was like second to none. Um, definitely would not have had Hattie third whatsoever. I thought Bonac looked a little bit off, a little bit smaller. Um, even his old coach said it. There might have been some like some hate going on there, but his coach said he looked a little bit off too. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if you could take his word for that, but um, yeah, I would have had to change that just a little bit. As for two twelve, I thought it was pretty fair. Um, I was actually very surprised they gave it to Kamal. I had, I didn't, I honestly didn't think they were gonna do that, but. Um, I think it was fair, and I think if Derek comes in shredded next year, he should definitely take it. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was pretty – I was that was probably my worst um, prediction. I had the guys lined up kind of right, uh, but just all out of order. Um, super happy that Sean plays third. Like, Sean – I've been a big fan of Sean's since I started bodybuilding. He was, like, the, the, uh, the rep for the shorter guys. So, I was, like, I always kind of gravitated towards him. So to see him like to get his due after you know training so hard and for so long and competing, it's really really cool. Putting the protein in here, so like I use this like milk, so put ice in there so it's cold. I find that if it's colder, it, it tastes a lot better. I mean, just imagine drinking hot milk; it would suck. So make sure you freeze this before you get started. All right. Um, as for classic, <laughs> very, very interesting. I would have had Breon taking it still for a three-peat. Uh, but I did see some comments that made a lot of sense about Chris Wayne. They said last year Chris lost by one point, and he was way off. So I'm like, well, if he showed up a little bit better shape, then based on how the judges judged it last year, it makes sense. Uh, me personally, though, I, would've had, I definitely would have had uh, Chris... Chris second, Breon first. But with that being said, I'm still happy for him and congratulated him and everything like that. I think he'll be a great representative for the sport. Uh, I feel, I know Breon was hurting. I saw it on his face on stage. So hopefully he's doing all right. You know, he takes, you know, he handled it, you know, as best as you can, you know, as best as you can handle something like that at the time. So um, that's kind of how I feel about it. George looked great. Um, dude was huge, shredded everything. Keon, great. Uh, I had Branch in the top five as well, so I'm not surprised. No one had him in there. Uh, they forgot about him. I, I remember it, so uh, shout out to Branch. And then uh, only guy I was surprised was with Henry. I didn't think Henry was going to to drop. I mean, he literally dropped, went from fourth to out of the top ten. I'm not sure where he placed, but um, that really kind of threw me for a loop. Uh, definitely, definitely threw me for a loop um, on that end. Um, but overall, I think it was a fun show to watch. A lot of new champions this year, and uh, yeah, I like the I like the change up and the, the excitement of the show. Definitely, I'm excited to see how each champion kind of holds the title this year. If they're going to be good ambassador, or they're just going to kind of sit at the house and you know not really do anything much for the sport at all. But um, it should be a fun year, regardless, regardless. Uh, well, I'm going to eat. She's already beating me to it. She's almost done getting her gains. So <laughs> I'm going to get to mine, and uh, I'll see you guys later.